few weeks ago, I was invited by the Dean of Woodbury to come do a speaking and a lecture at the school. I'm sure most of you already know that I have my master's in business and I uh, did it and completed it at Woodbury University about eight years ago. Or lecture by the who was once one of ours and still is one of ours. She was an MBA student with us in the years 2008 to 2010 and decided to do what she liked in life which was going in the direction of makeup, which she was already doing, but decided to pursue that further. And so her story is a fascinating one, and I would love for you to hear it, not through my mouth, but through hers. If you are going to school right now, if you're in high school or a college and you're thinking about doing it, I highly recommend you do it and you get it out of the way because here I am eight years later and I still have that with me. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Cardanian on stage or the floor. <laughs> um, she'll talk about her experience um, throughout the MBA program, what she's doing now, and, um, and she'll take any questions from you here. Hi everybody. I'm excited to be here because it's been, I just calculated, eight years since I graduated, but I am really excited to be here and I'm 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 really um, when I got my master's in business, everyone assumed that I wanted to grow in the corporate world that I was in, which is also, of course, an addition and a benefit for anybody to have, right? But even for me, as an individual, as a business owner, as a makeup artist, um, even as a mom, I realize now that I, I just feel like I have more to give and more of a value that because I have my master's degree. If you are thinking about your master's degree, I 110% recommend that you do it. I'm in the beauty world and I always had students who came up to me like, I want to do makeup, but my parents want me to go to school. And I have a lot of young students who are like 18, 19 years old. And I always tell them, you know, your parents are 100% right. And I always talk to the parents, look, like, look, listen, I have my master's and I'm doing makeup. So it's not something, makeup is not something that you need to quit school for. Makeup is freestyle. It's on our own time. It's on our own schedule. So it can be something that you can do on the weekends, the evenings when you're not in school and you don't have homework or studying to do. Um, and then once you have that degree, go ahead, do your makeup if that's the direction that you want to go in, but you want to always have something to fall back on. So I always, always tell this to my students and their teachers and I don't want anyone to stop school just because they want to do makeup. And um, it was really just such an honor to go back to the school that I graduated from and speak to students that are sitting in chairs that I sat in eight years ago and be invited from the dean of the school to be able to do this, um, it was, you know, it's just emotionally satisfying, spiritual, spiritually satisfying, and I really, really enjoyed doing this for the school, for the students, and even for myself. Um, I never thought that I would come back and lecture in the, the school that I went to. I don't know, it's just not something you think about when you're going to school, but you know, it does lead to many doors uh, for us after we get our degree, and. Um, I'm very proud of all the students who are not only going to that school, but just any school. I just, for me, I loved Woodbury Master's Program because I told my teacher, Dr. Joanne Marquez, that I had a 8 a.m. Sunday morning school with her, and um, I told her when I saw her uh, a few weeks ago that her class was like Sunday morning church for me because she was so inspiring, the teachers are so inspiring there, and she asked me a question eight years ago, not me, she asked the class, if money wasn't an object, if money was not an issue, what would you be doing with your life? And this was eight years ago, I think I was working at a, as an assistant at an you know, old folks home, corporation type of thing, and you know, it just was a job for me at the time, and I just felt like I just needed to do this job and that makeup wasn't really a career for me and I never thought makeup would be a career for me so when she asked me that question it just got me thinking like my god what what would I be doing like all I'm doing is researching makeup creating looks like writing my blog this is all I do on my spare time so when she asked me that question if money wasn't an issue 
and I always dreamt of having my own line of cosmetics and it just never was something that I seriously thought about back then because really I had a 9 to 5, I was helping support my family and it's just not something that I ever thought that I'd be able to do until she asked me that question and it got me thinking throughout the years and I always tell that story to everybody because it does really help you think outside of the box and not constrain yourself um, mentally and not constrain yourself academically and you know allows you to think further in the future without any limitations on yourself um, anyways it was a huge honor to be speaking at this class and I hope the class enjoyed it. So thank you Woodbury, thank you Ani, thank you Dr. Jordan Marquez and Dr. Demond for having me at your school. Um, I'll be forever thankful for this and um, I love you guys.